Hello everyone, this is Zach, and we are about to jump into our Players' Cup 4 qualifier matches. If you guys enjoy this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and these battles are going to be broken up into parts, probably about three battles a piece, so make sure you stay tuned for the multiple parts by subscribing. But anyways, we are working with the Sun team, so we are going to see how using the Sun goes, but other than that, we're just going to jump right in. Uh, I mean, we're hanging on there. It's just like, we need to get ahead and we're not doing that at four and five. Okay. Necro dance. A rain team. Uh, I don't think I can, like, I would love Intimidate here, but I don't think it works. I think Porygon and Ice Beam does. Dragonite and Draco Vish. Okay. So I definitely want to reflect here. And just go into Dracovish. I'm worried about the weakness policy on Dragonite. Okay, so we set up Reflect. Vicious Rend. Um, okay. I max guard here because I just want to like slow down the game just a little.
we have the weakness policy. I know that the, the max flare isn't going to do a lot, but it is weather boosted. Way more than I wanted to take from that. Not enough. Dracovish goes down here. Who comes in? Arctovish. I think, I think this guy has Slush Rush. We're going to bring Groudon back. Okay, so we take out Arctivish. And we have Ice Beam on the P2, so... Hurricane, that's fine. You're going to take another turn of binds. Vanillax, okay. I just want a light screen here. Because, like, we left Dragonite on the field, uh, but Dragonite's taking a lot of damage, so the hail is going to just hurt it more. And you're going for confusions. Don't get it, please. Yes, okay. So we just immediately get the trick room up. So, weather is gone for them. But we go ahead and just Ice Beam and Rock Slide, and that should be enough. Unfortunately, we ran out of Vines. So, I, I want to say that the Vanellix is probably some form of Sash. I guess we won't find out. You do hit, double hit the blizzard. But with the light screen, thank goodness we set up the light screen. Ice shard.
Okay. Thank you, P2. Above 1,500. There we go. Ten battles in. We are tied at five and five. Sir McLevin. The names that some players have. Uh, I think we lead Charizard here. We can do one of two things. We can scary face and if you lead Sun, like we can scary face and max wildfire. That would put us in a decent position. But I want to say they might go Lapras here. Lapras Torkoal. It's actually not bad. Um... I think we light screen. Is Max Rockfall enough? Probably not. But you're not getting you're not getting geyser up. I like anyway. Like you're gonna geyser before you set up veil. So we should get our full Dynamax off. Yeah, so you're going for Lapras. We're salt best. Uh, you set up the sun. So Geyser, even if you go Geyser first, like it's not going to do a whole lot. And you actually guard turn one. Okay. So they're going really passive and we get to punish for that. Hopefully. Oh, man, I hate Torkoal. Because <laughs> you can just burn in jealousy here. Eruption. Okay. So I think here we just keep uh, spirit breaking. And I actually don't want Charizard to take unnecessary damage. So I'm gonna rock fall instead. Cause like, I think like the sand chip is like way less than uh, the solar power. And then if we need to, we can always reset it. And that way, if you try to bring, like, Venusaur into Sleep Powder shenanigans, like... K 
Okay, there's the veil. Lapras is the slowest thing. Let's see, you had an Urshifu. You might go for Trick Room, but I want to say if you had Torkoal, you led Torkoal, you probably have Venusaur, and you just don't want to bring it out. Because I led the Charizard, and I took away the Sun. Okay. So you bring out Venusaur. I don't think there's anything wrong here with just getting the wildfire. Because Venusaur should protect anyway. That or you double out. And now wildfire, after wildfire, that Venusaur is going down. Weather ball, okay. Look at Charizard eating those. Ooh, Venusaur just hangs on. I think we just spear break here into Lapras and just heat wave because we want to get the Venusaur off the field so whatever is in the back can take more wildfire chip and once we get Venusaur off the field you can't switch out Lapras and you have to deal with those special attack drops and Lapras will basically be useless So yeah, Lapras is minus three at this point. And you missed the Hydro Pump. Carantina. Your weakness policy though. Yeah, let's just Scorching Sands, because if we burn it, like... We're, so we're Salt Vest, so we still eat that. And Lapras is going to go down to the next Wildfire. And it misses the second Hydro Pump. We got the luck that we needed in this battle, but I still think, like, we would have won it overall. Because this Charizard actually does well against Lapras, as long as you use Charizard to, like, kind of, like, focus on the enemies. And I usually max Quake turn one. That way you not only are assault vested, not only have the light screen, but you have the plus one. And they set up Sun, which made... It's first move kind of weak. I don't want to activate weakness policy until it's lower and they cancel the battle. Okay. All right, so we're on a little bit of an uptick. Ozmeal? Can we just sleep powder?
I think we need instant in this one. Do I go Charizard or Groudon? I think I need the Groudon here. You could lead Moltres here. Calylex and Moltres, okay. You have to worry about the Sucker Punch though. So I think we just light screen here and Max Quake. Next turn, like maybe we switch and grout on and see what we can do with that. Okay, so you go Maltrace. You might activate Weakness Policy for us. Honestly, I think the strategy might be to ignore Maltrace. until we need to handle it because how worried are we about speed astral barrage we okay we eat that You give us our weakness policy. Let's bring in Groudon. Oh, I mean, we have to Vine last year. You're still faster. And my dog is having a bad dream. Hey, hey, hey. You're okay. You're okay. Okay. Oh my goodness, for a second I thought we lost Scrout on. Plus two. <sighs> we need to preserve the crowd on here and get an intimidate off.
Airstream. That should be going into Venusaur. Yeah. EQ. Crit, right? Oh my goodness. I want to see if the Moltres protects here. With it being dark type, I have no way of lowering its speed though. So that's tricky. You actually go into Rotom. We will get the Reflect up, but you probably knock out Instant here. Yeah, they made a good call. Ooh, we hang on. Okay, so I want to say... Should we try for damage? You should just dark whatever here fiery wrath yeah grimsall takes that very well though Okay. So if Moltres goes below 50% on like residual damage, Berserk won't go off, but that's that's it for the screens. Um Okay, that's fine. Okay. Groudon flinches. Oh, we don't get the the swords dance. How many more turns of light screen do we have? We have two more turns of light screen. Uh, slash okay 
Okay, so we get the Swords Dance. And you hit the Hydro Pump. You gotta be kidding me. I want to double into the Moltres just in case. Yeah. That's fine. As long as we don't flinch. We get the rock slide. There we go. Okay, so we're plus one Groudon. I'm going to protect here. And slow you down. Because you should go for Grout on here. Yeah, okay. Um, we should be faster now. Just in case uh, I'm out of light screen, right? I want to set the light screen back up. Yeah. Because we've been intimidated twice. So if we have to go down to the spirit breaks, like we're like, it's going to take a couple hits, especially this Rotom probably has a citrus berry. And you hit the Hydro Pump. Okay. So with each Spirit Break, like, we make this Rotom weaker. You could sit there and Nasty Plot. Okay, you're going to Protect. Reflect is gone. That's fine. Thunderbolt. You get the para. If we scary face you again, we should be faster though. Protect. Maybe we should have just went for Okay, so we're faster again.
If we get full parrot again, I think we lose. Okay, so you protect. Oh, that's what you wanted to do. Hmm. No way. You gotta be kidding me. Look at that. One. Lived on one. Ugh. Hey everyone, this is Zach, and you just finished up one of my Players Cup 4 Qualifier Run videos. If you made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this, and make sure you stay tuned for the next one, because I've played a lot of battles, so hopefully they get better. But until the next one, I'll see everyone later.